Hey guys, Aaron here coming at you with a knife review. We have the SOG um, Mini Aegis. And uh, this is a knife um, that I have been interested in for a long time. I remember first seeing this on Nut and Fancy's channel uh, years ago, and it always interested me. Um, I entitled my review over on Practically Every Day. It's the uh, the knife I never forgot. This is the Mini. Um, and it's it's an interesting knife. Um, I'm going to be honest and say that my uh, having carried it and having used it now, I'm relatively underwhelmed. Um, uh, yeah, it's a uh, three inch blade, about seven inches overall. It weighs two ounces. The blade is incredibly thin, if you can see that. I mean, it's just very thin. Um, and uh, yeah, we have a modified drop point here. This is a Tainai. Uh, black coating, which seems to be holding up fine. You can see there is markings on it, but it hasn't scratched away. Um, these are black GRN or FRN handles, and then SOG's deep uh, deep carry clip, deep deep carry pocket clip, and uh, it makes use of SOG's arc lock, and it is spring assisted. So, um, I guess my overall impressions of it just are simply that it's not made particularly well. Uh, I wouldn't trust this knife with any sort of hard use. Um, I think it functions perfectly as like a food slicer, letter opener, box tape cutter. But I don't think that this is something you would wanna you would wanna work with. Uh, when I uh, I'll roll a picture in right here. When I tore the knife down, you can see that there really isn't much to it, uh, with the exception of the locking mechanism. And, uh, you know, some, you know, the blade, there's not much left to it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, and then there is just a hair of side to side play. No up and down. Oh, oh there is a little, just a, there's a touch of up and down play too. Um, that wasn't there when I first got it, but it developed over time. And I tried fixing it by adjusting the pivot screw, but the balance that you have to, the balancing act that you kind of have to play out is if you adjust it too tight, then the knife is only going to do that and not open all the way. So uh, that was sort of a bummer. I think it sits nice in the hand. It's a nice size. The top jimping for me is non-functioning, just completely slick. You have sort of this faux choil right here that um, I think it locks it into your hand very well, but I would be hesitant to put any force on the front of the knife because I don't think that it was, it's going to stay in your hand too much. So... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of cut away to a cut test. We're going to do a, an apple cut test. I think I'm going to forego the, um, the cardboard cut test. I just I don't expect this knife to do um, super well on that. Uh, I think it'll cut fine, but I think it's going to dull very quickly just due to the Aussate steel in the blade. Um, Aussate being kind of a softer steel. Easy to sharpen, but um, it doesn't. it's not known for, for holding an edge too terribly well. So give me a second. I'm going to reset, and we will um, chop up an apple. So hang on. Hey guys. So we're just going to do a simple apple cut test. I believe that with the full flat grind on this blade, it should slice very well. There's not going to be a whole lot of metal behind it to kind of slow it down. But um, it does a, you know, I mean, it, it, it's a good slicer. There's not, you know, there's not too much to be said about it. Slices food perfectly. It slices paper really well. And, you know, if you're going to open an envelope or something along those lines, it'll do that perfectly. Um, the really kind of like needle like point is nice to get in. And if you wanted to, you know, kind of get like the seed out or something like that, it would be, uh, it would be perfectly suited for that. Um, I will say that just due to the thinness of the blade and how, how thinly grounded it is towards the tip there, I think that this knife, um, if you're not careful with it, is going to be prone to um, uh, tip breakage. I think that the it, it would be incredibly easy to just snap the tip right off of that. And I have not handled, well I've handled, but I have I've not owned or tested the full size. But I think um, the design and everything is, is pretty much the same um, with the exception of just the size of the blade. So as you can see, it cuts food fine. Uh, it would slice paper just as well. 